This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. Murder in the morning from the Hidden Killers podcast. Ever wonder what it'd be like to work for Rex Hewerman uh, at the architectural firm that he had in uh, New York City? Rex Hewerman, of course. I don't wonder uh, that. I don't ever no. want to think of that. He's, of course, the man that's accused of being the Long Island serial killer. But a uh, woman sat down with uh, Channel 7 Eyewitness News in New York and answered those questions. Uh, and I think left more people with more questions about Rex Hewerman. Uh, Donna Sturman is her name, former executive assistant of the Long Island serial killer, alleged Long Island serial killer Rex Hewerman. Hewerman. Uh, broken her silence, expressing her shock and disbelief at the accusations that uh, were made against her former boss. Sturman, who worked for Hewerman in uh, 2017 and 2018 at the uh, architectural office in Midtown, revealed her deep-seated trauma over the relationship, stating, it's so traumatizing, it is unbelievable. Recalling her tenure with Hewerman, Sturman uh, highlighted the irony of DNA evidence linking him to the Gilgo Beach murders, uh, citing the discarded piece of pizza crust she used uh, or he that she used to buy him uh, I always kind of uh, bothered me that he didn't eat the crust she remarked <laughs> I'm sorry I find that funny it's a sign of a psychopath if you don't eat the crust on a pizza there's something like you're probably a serial killer I think that's... Well, there's uh, Tony there's <laughs> sometimes I don't eat the crust yeah uh, if the crust is bad that's one thing but there's so many times I have pizza and the crust is really good. And people are like, I'm not going to eat the crust. No, this one's really good. Not all crusts are not made the same. Right. And um, I just think society needs to understand that a little bit. (laughs) I agree. Uh, Despite her years uh, of working closely with Hureman, uh, Sturman admitted she never imagined him being accused of such a heinous crime. To me, he was always so respectful, she stated, reflecting on her uh, perception of her former employer, Sturman vividly recounted uh, the moment that she learned of Hewerman's arrest last summer, describing the shock and surreal experience of seeing his name associated with the allegations. Honestly, it was like moving in slow motion, she recalled. Even witnessing the surveillance footage of Hewerman's arrest, his subsequent mugshot and court appearances left Sturman overwhelmed, saying it's seriously traumatizing, she emphasized. Reflecting on her decision to work for Hewerman despite initial misgivings, Sturman uh, revealed financial difficulties that led her to accept the position. However, she never imagined the magnitude of the situation that she'd find herself in years later. Sturman also shed light on her labor dispute with Hewerman, stating he never paid her overtime or vacation time, despite filing a complaint with the New York State Department of Labor and winning a judgment of $20,000 in lost wages. Hewerman has failed to pay her to this day. Uh, yeah. Now, I asked you before we started recording, yeah. um, his wife has, I mean, somebody raised a shit ton of money for them. My question was, well, why can't they tap into that? Because they're not, they're not divorced. And now she's got this pot of gold sitting there. Why can't they tap into that? Because but you brought up a good point. Uh, because it is a business uh, dispute and not a personal dispute. And likely that, I mean, any money would have to come from the business that wouldn't be coming out of his personal funding at all. So it would have to be coming from that. So it can't really be taken out of any sort of personal funds. It doesn't even need to be taken out of personal funds. There's no, there's nothing that would require that to be done unless they get to, a. I mean, she could end up filing another suit against the estate if that ever gets that way, if Asa's ever charged or anything like that, but who knows. Um but it, uh, looking here, raised, as of August of last year, raised, what, $22,000 in the wake of uh, everything that was going on? Where is it at today? Is it still around? I don't know. I, oh, I thought go. I had heard 50000 but I could be wrong. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's gone up since then. Uh, I don't even know. I don't, yeah, I, anyway. Yeah. Um, so I'm yeah, th- so that's how that would work uh, out. But here's a thought I had: um, if uh, they're needing to raise money, start selling your shit, and start selling your shit as this once belonged to Rex Hewerman. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it's at fifty-four thousand. Or I'm sorry, fifty-six thousand dollars. How nice! Uh, the um, the way that people 
were excited about buying Alec Murdoch's belongings, you could make probably 10 times what the objects are worth if you Easily. did something like that. It's sick, it's horrible, but people will pay to have the belongings of a, you know, this this case, an alleged serial killer. Don't ask me why. I do this for a living and I wouldn't want to be, you know, having the Alec Murdoch turtle lamp in my office. Although I did, <laughs> I did think of bidding on it, though. I really did. And then I saw how much it was going for. And I'm like, yeah, it ain't worth that. Uh, but I think like how much was it going for? They went for thousands of dollars. Why? These, because people wanted it. People wanted a piece of that lore, uh, if you will. I mean, I think like his couch went for like 20 some thousand. Uh, I mean, just all sorts for of a couch. Yeah. Because it was Alec Murdoch's couch. So not trying to give anybody ideas on how to make money here. Uh, but yeah, if uh, Asa wants to uh, really make some money, start selling uh, Rex's shit and you will start making a lot of money. If you need it for a legal defense or to pay off uh, suits that uh, will likely come, uh, that might be your best option. Although apparently she got that million bucks from the, the 50 Cent documentary, which we'll see? have yet to see. Um, but... Yeah. There's money coming. I mean, oh, I don't know money. why they couldn't put a lien even on the house. Because it's not business property. Oh, damn it. I, I'm, I keep trying. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's it's like a total separate entity, totally separate thing. So that's how, I mean, that's how businesses protect themselves from being sued personally to go after your assets. It's because you can't do that. You would have to go after business assets, part of the company that you dealt with. Uh, not just the the person that you dealt with. That that's a whole different thing. It has to be a different type of interaction or crime that took place. Um, I mean, if if he you know did something that was outside of the business, yeah, then and there was a lawsuit filed. Then you could look at personal assets. Uh, but it was a business dispute of of a paycheck or whatever it was. But Ugh. yeah, I, I you're right, but it's. It's frustrating to me. This woman is owed that money and and I, she has the judgment. She should get the money. I think I'd go knock on the door of awesome. <laughs> if I were, yeah, good luck with that. With a camera crew, your own camera crew, uh, collecting from Rex. Start your own little documentary. You know, you could probably uh, you know do that a little bit and they put that shit on YouTube. You'll make $20,000 in no time. Want to listen ad free? Want advance access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next. Sick of the ads? We are too. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.